pretty early here in Sweden, but we await today to the news that there is a brand new firmware update for the Mavic Air 2. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like smart controller support is there, but they may not have revealed that until there's another firmware update for the smart controller. So it could be that this update does include the smart controller software, but that it's not going to be actually announced until the two firmwares are level. But what are the highlights? Well, we've got a new safe flight mode added, which after being turned on the aircraft will actively go around when encountering obstacles and the flight command of the left and right sticks will be invalid to improve safety. Sounds a little bit like APAS. Well, it is APAS. They've added 4K resolution zoom mode, which supports 4K resolution, multiple frame rates, and gives a two times digital zoom. This is a much wanted feature. We had this on the other Mavics in DJI Go 4, at least we now have it in DJI Fly. Um, they've also added in 1080p mode a four times digital zoom. So that's quite useful. They've added 4K resolution to time lapse photography. That's really, really nice. Optimize the experience of F FPV mode. Not really anyone uses that FPV mode anyway. They've optimized the shooting effect when flying forward in sports mode. I guess that means they've fixed probably the amount of tilt that the gimbal has. And when you suddenly brake in sports mode, a lot of the time you'd see the gimbal hitting the limits of its movement. So that would be interesting. Also stops the blades from entering the shot. Um, they've also um, a number of key points of tra trajectory delay um, the support the function. Oh, okay. So they've increased the number of points that you can add in waypoint mode to 45. That's a lot during um, time lapse. That will definitely help. And finally, they've optimized the effect of low altitude intelligent uh, active track. So yeah, a number of updates here. Very disappointing not to have smart controller support there yet. But I really do think it will happen. They promised two weeks on launch, but obviously that didn't happen. But they are doing their best to get it to work now. Anyway, get that update installed. Comment below with your thoughts. What do you think? And as always, this is Droning On Live, where you'll hear the latest breaking news really early in the morning when I haven't even had a coffee yet and I can barely speak. But at least you hear it pretty much first here. So do subscribe and do share this video to lots of Facebook groups because I'd love to get this channel to a thousand subscribers. Thanks very much, guys.